Hello and welcome back to another coffee tasting video. Before we get started, make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you're alerted anytime we drop a new video, which is every Tuesday. This is a Nespresso-centric channel, so we basically review original line and virtual line Nespresso coffee. If that's something that interests you, make sure that you subscribe. Uh, for all my fellow pod heads, we are into a new week. We are going kind of circling back around for the releases that were happen happening, the Reviving Origin series. We're moving on to the original line now, so that will be coming up. The website should be getting closer, um, I believe. We uh, had to do a few, a few little changes and things, but it uh, looks like she's on target for that. And then also, I, uh, I got a graphic artist that's going to be doing some artwork for the uh, website and maybe something else in the future. So uh, once I get that back, I'll, uh, I'll share that out with you or you'll be able to see it on the website. Uh, we're going to launch the website whether or not the, uh, the artwork is done, but uh, just know that that's coming. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, it was, uh, it's a, uh, it'll be our mascot. Let's say it that way. It'll be our mascot. So when that happens, you'll see it here first. This is September 1st. That means this will be the first video of September where you are looking for another word, a word that does not fit into the sentence. Kind of like last month where I said two pumps of caramel, watermelon, it didn't fit. That was the word, watermelon. You put that down in the comments. If you're first, uh, it'll be in one of the videos in September. If you're the first to comment with the keyword that was there that didn't fit, you win your choice of any coffee, providing I can get my hands on it, and that ships to anyone in the United States and Canada. Uh, as of now, I haven't been able to ink a deal yet with Nespresso so that I can go international, but hopefully at some point that will happen. Moving on to our star attraction this week. It'll sound very familiar. It is going to be Tamuka Mu Zimbabwe. We already reviewed it for the uh, virtual line. This is for the original line. Let's see how that plays out. The virtual line got a, uh, got a uh, purchase with three pods. So let's take a look at what they have to say about this one. The aromatic profile. Complex fruitiness of the coffee reveals a rich aromatic bouquet of red berries, cranberries, currants, and grapes. Try Tamuka Mu Zimbabwe as a cappuccino and taste how the milk gives this coffee a creamy, smooth texture and brings out the sweetness of caramel in the coffee. In theory, this should taste exactly like the virtual line did because they're, they're, they're uh, using the same wording, the same verbiage. It is intensity five. You can do it as an espresso pour or a lungo. So we can do a 1.35 or a 3.7. That might lend itself really nicely to doing like a cappuccino. We could do a longer uh, pour in a lungo and then pair it up with maybe three ounces of milk. So we'll have to check that out. Let's take a look at what our pods look like. Kind of a nice little black pod there. I don't know why I took off my glasses. Yeah, nice looking pod. It looks like just a miniaturized version of the other one. It does have Zimbabwe on the bottom. There's your pod. Black, kind of that uh, darker green. Almost has almost kind of a silvery look in the green almost. Labeled on the bottom. Tamuka Mu Zimbabwe. Let's go brew a shot. Tamuka Mu Zimbabwe, round one. Let's get this going. I have this on the espresso setting for first round. 
All right, this is done. I was kind of worried if I was gonna have any coffee. It looked like all crema coming out of there. Level five, just judging from color, yeah. Seems like I smelled this in the other one. It kind of has that tart, like a tart smell to it. Hmm, well, let's go give it a taste. Fold in this just a little bit of the crema back in. All right, Tamuka Mu Zimbabwe, round one. Let's give this a taste. Oh, wow. I'm trying to remember what the virtual line tasted like, but this has got a lot of fruity notes. Seems like the, uh, did they say cranberry? Yeah, they said cranberry. Could be the cranberry. Um, it's got a little bit of a tart. There's a lot of fruity notes in there. It's not so fruity and it's got a lot of fruit, slight, slight, slight oil. So it'll be interesting to see when we build it as a cappuccino to see what comes out of this, but I can feel the oil on my tongue. The, the fruit is very quick, very much on the front of your tongue and then kind of gone and then you get that little bit of a tart taste to it. It's got like a, they say grapes? I don't taste any grapes in it. Unless the, you know like the outside skin of a grape, how if you just eat just that outside, like especially if it's a, like a purple or a dark grape, how it's kind of tart. If that's the tart I'm tasting, I could see where there's grape. If you're looking for the sweetness or the flavor of a grape, I don't think so. It, it, it definitely has a fruity flavor. To me, it tastes predominantly like cranberries. It's very nice and smooth. Not a whole lot of, it's got a little, little bit of acid, but not bad at all. So they said uh, to do it uh, as a cappuccino and it'll create a creamy, smooth texture that brings out the sweetness of caramel and coffee. I think we owe that. Tamuka Mu Zimbabwe, round two. Let's go brew another shot. Tamuka Mu Zimbabwe, round two. I'm gonna get the shot going. I'm gonna change over to the Lungo pour for this one. So we'll get that going. While that's going, we have just under, it's gonna be about a 50-50 mix. This is gonna give us 3.7 ounces. This is as close as I could get to 3.7 ounces of milk. So we're gonna put that in there. We're gonna froth it once this finishes. All right, that is finished. I'm gonna kick over to the milk. Since we're doing a cappuccino, I need a little more froth. I'm gonna move the setting on the Breville up to five so that hopefully we get a little more milk. All right, our milk is done. The milk in. Now we'll get the, ooh, pretty. Well, there we go. Let's go give it a taste. It's gonna fold in. It's got an ever so slight, I was just looking at it while we were moving. It's got an ever so slight paper thin layer of oil. And that's kind of what I expected. All righty. Tamuka Mu Zimbabwe, the Lungo pour, 3.7 ounces with about 3.7 ounces of milk. Let's give it a taste. The fruit flavor, it well, it's a kind of an interesting aftertaste. Yeah, the uh, fruit is taking a big back seat, like almost to the point where
boy, it's almost missing. Uh, I, that one, this is going to be another one of those weird ones where I don't know why, but the, so before we had kind of those bright fruit notes, a little bit of tart, this kind of has a little bit of a, kind of a, a wet wood taste to it. It just has a very, very odd taste. There's really not much to speak of for an aftertaste. The coffee has just all but disappeared. I wonder if when you do it as a lungo, I wonder if you just can't turn it into a cappuccino or if you just have to cut the milk way, way back. But matching it equally with milk, which is basically the cappuccino style, this just gets lost. It doesn't have any of that fruitiness. It doesn't have any of that It's just got a very blase taste to it. I don't know if the Lungo pour is too long. It, give me a second. I decided uh, to figure out what I'm tasting. I was just gonna do a Lungo pour real quick off of uh, just the pod. I can't even stir that, it's so full. So this is just a Lungo pull off of that pod, so. Ooh, that's hot. It definitely lightened up. Oh, and that's cold. Boy. Yeah, it still has some of the fruity notes in this, but I don't, the Lungo Pour, I don't know about that. It's like two and a half times the Espresso Pour, and I don't know that pod holds up to it. I think you could get away with it on the Virtual line because it had more coffee in there. This one just, it's not, yeah, bright, fruity, That just has a little bit more of a tart taste to it. And then this, off camera, my wife took a taste of it. She said, it tastes just like coffee. And that's probably about what sums it up. It, as a cappuccino, at least in those ratios, it doesn't work. I'm kind of tempted to, let's try it one more thing and see if it'll stand up to it. I'm gonna go back to an espresso pour. I'm gonna to go to just two ounces of milk and see how this works out. So let's go round, depending how you're counting, round three or four, whichever way. Uh, let's go give this one a try. Let's go brew another shot. All right, I went back to the espresso setting for this. We're gonna get that brewed into the cup here. Went down to just just under two ounces of milk. So we're gonna get that in there. All right, that's done. Let's go over to our milk side. I'm gonna change it down a little bit on the froth so it doesn't quite dilute it as much with water. Not near as much froth, but also not near as much milk. Let's go give it a taste. Yeah, pretty much the same for the oil. I was just seeing if there was any difference there. Tamuka Mu Zimbabwe, an espresso pour, right at two ounces of milk. Let's give this a taste. That's better. I, I still think I just, I just enjoy it the best as a uh, espresso shot.
caramel and coffee, I really don't get. They said caramel and coffee. Let's give it a little caramel. Maybe like a half a pump for this. Let's get that just incorporated real quick. We're having a uh, monsoon right now in the middle of filming. Things just went flying by our windows. <laughs> I don't know what it was, but it went flying by the window. <laughs> All right, here we go. Half a pump of caramel. That's not bad. That, that little bit of tart there, uh, the caramel does seem to help it out a little bit. Um, did we do, I think we did vanilla on the other one. I think... This one, I think, benefits a little bit from just a slight bit of caramel. Yeah, that's... The fruity notes are all but gone. There's a... I, I said wet wood with this. This doesn't have a wet wood. It has just a little bit of a sour, tart kind of taste to it. And then the caramel adds that little bit of a sweet touch of the caramel to it. All right, let's take a look at what they're doing here. Tamuka Mu Zimbabwe, Nespresso Exclusives, Reviving Origins, Buck Tenapod. Oh, so they're really not commanding a, a premium in much compared to the other, uh, the other, I guess you would say, specialty ones. It's a 40% premium uh, over the standard line. This one, as much as I hate to say it, I think for the original line, we, we always have to go back to what was it What was it primarily? It was primarily an espresso shot. It was okay. It was pretty good. It, it's just not special enough and okay enough that it stands out in any way. Uh, as a Lungo, no, the Lungo with four ounces of milk tastes like wet wood. This was okay as a cappuccino. It was better with the caramel. But again, there's so many better pods out there. And especially if you have both machines, I would get this in the virtual line. The virtual line was much more functional. The flavors were better. I'm going to have to go with on this one. It's a pass. It's a pass and I would give it a two out of five pods. So it was just eh, two out of five and a pass. It just doesn't have enough going for it to say go out and spend a 40 cent premium to buy this pod. I think the virtual line was much better and basically at the same cost. I'd go with the virtual line. If you don't have the virtual line and you only have the original, I would just pass on this pod. It just doesn't have enough going for it. So, well, that brings us to a close of another video. Was there a hidden word somewhere in this video? I don't know. And no, it was not when we were talking about the monsoon. The monsoon is actually a monsoon, and there is things actually flying by my windows. So no, it was not the word monsoon or anything that had to do with that. <laughs> oh my, uh, I thank you so much for your time and for being here. If you would like to see a coffee reviewed, providing it's with the original line or the virtual line of Nespresso, drop that down in the comments. I'll do my level best to get it out to you. And to all of my patrons, I thank you so much. You have afforded many of the coming features. You guys have voted on so many things and, and it's wonderful to see what you guys want and what you like. And I thank all of you for your uh, time that you take to go back there, uh, answer the polls, put comments in, and then obviously your direct support uh, for the channel. It means a lot to me and I hope I never get tired of saying that.
I hope it, it stays meaning something long into the future because you guys are awesome. Look forward to the uh, website coming. If you haven't already, hit the like and subscribe. Ring that bell notification. We drop a video every Tuesday at 9 o'clock. Until next Tuesday, have a great rest of your day.